Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, we're gonna do uh, valve stems today. We're just gonna show one valve stem and uh, how to put it in and then what you do with the jackets to make sure you put the jackets on right. Um, I have a um, engine to uh, an Audi 2011, uh, Audi A4 Quattro. Uh, let's get the camera set up here so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, so I have all these new valve stems put in. Um, here's the last one on this side. Um, and uh, what we're gonna do is show how the jackets go on here. So real quickly, just show you uh, what this looks like. There's, they come in halves, so it's easier to put on. You don't wanna put them on so that the small end's at the bottom, okay? It doesn't work like that. Uh, it, <laughs> you'll get the springs to work for a short time, but what you wanna do is have uh, the fat end, which is this side here, on the top. And so when you put that together on your stem, what happens is as the spring goes up, it goes around the small part and then hits the big part and stops. And that's what you have in here. And you can see the tops of the uh, uh, jackets that are on here. So let's show how this works. I'll show you a little couple things that I do. Um, I'm no professional by any means, but uh, Thank you to Naptown Tuner for all the wonderful videos he's shown because I've learned a lot from him. Um, I'm gonna use some uh, uh, engine assembly lube uh, just to kind of get some things on here, makes it easier to go uh, and put it up inside uh, the stem area. So I'll just wiggle it around, make sure it's there's nothing, no problems, and it goes in and out pretty easily. That's what we want. Um, so now let's talk about uh, uh, the spring here that's got to go over that. So what's going to happen is the the stem goes up through here, and uh, as you can see, if I put it on there, I can't I can't see the top of the stem. So what we're going to do is we're going to compress the spring down so we can get to these little grooves here to put the jackets on. All right. So I'm going to put the spring on there and move this out just a little so I can put the tensioner on it all right and so this little device here it's pretty awesome um, put it on here and the bottom part uh, goes on the bottom part of the stem and the top part just rotates down on it and now you compress the the spring until you can see uh, the grooves and you've got to go past the grooves a little bit and you can see them start to show right down there. Let's see if I can get that to focus on it. And you just keep compressing it. And I could put it on right there, but I'll go down a little bit further just to show. So now it's compressed pretty far. And what I like to do is I like to put in, uh, somebody might say this is kind of dumb, but uh, it helps to stick to the stem. This little lubricant here, I'm just gonna put on it. Um, so I have a, a screwdriver I'm going to use and it's kind of magnetized from working with it a little bit so if I put that on and I'm using the uh, uh, screwdriver it'll pull it back off because it's magnetized so now I'm going to use this uh, needle nose pliers I'm going to grab this jacket oops almost dropped it in the engine um, all right I'm gonna turn it upside down to grab it because it makes it easier. I'll show you what I'm saying here in a second. It makes it easier to go around the stem. So let me get this old one here. So it makes it easier to push this onto the stem like this. So I'm using these needle nose pliers. There's probably some better ideas out there than this, uh, but I'm just gonna uh, go with what seems to work for me. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard with the camera, but we'll give it a shot. And put it around it like that. Use a screwdriver to help put it in place. And there it's on it. And there it has, so I need another piece to it. So I'm gonna rotate it around just a little bit. And so now I get the next one. Again, put a little lubricant on it. Just a dab. I mean, we're just trying to get it to stick to the, uh, the top uh, of the stem. And we're not lubricating this so it comes off. We definitely don't want it to come off. And now just turn it upside down and uh, grab it with the pliers. Oops. And again, I'm gonna make it so I can just put it around it. 
And just push it in there a little bit. Oh, not quite, went a little low. So bring that back up, grab it. So it's good to have magnetic pliers. Let me put it on the needle nose again. It's hard to do working around the camera stand. All right, so there. Now they're both on there. Now we release this tensioner here. And you'll see the, uh, try to get this on top so we can see it a little bit better. All right, so you can see the spring's gonna come up over the jackets and then stop at the top because the top's too big for it to come out. And there it gets easier. And then we take everything out. And there is the last valve on that side, on the exhaust side. Uh, so there's all the valves that I put in there and then I gotta do uh, some on the intake side and that's how you do it. So uh, uh, thank you to uh, Naptown Tuner for uh, all the awesome videos. This is, uh, um, I've taken this engine out a couple times, uh, once because of the timing chain, the other because of the, uh, um, uh, the balance shaft. So he's got great videos, so uh, kudos to him and uh, check him out. He's awesome. So I hope that helps. See ya.